former Liberation War Fighters under the Zimbabwe National Liberation War Veterans Association ZNLWVA have called President Emerson Umningagwa to order, urging him to respect citizens. This warning comes after the government threatened to clamp down on people, accusing them of engaging in subversive activities. ZNLWVA Chairperson Andreas Ethan Mathabila told reporters in Bulawayo on Friday that the government must stop making idle threats against its people and instead address the issues causing citizens to voice their discontent. Acting Home Affairs Minister Jeff Van Muswa Friday threatened those engaging in subversive activities, stating that their days are numbered. Muswa accused the opposition. Some politicians and certain civil society organizations CSOs of attempting to instigate anarchy and despondency. However, Mathabila argued that the government should focus on national issues rather than threaten imaginary enemies. He stated, We must deal with national issues. A security threat comes as a result of an uneven playing field by the government, where it partially accepts some and admits others as friends while deeming others as enemies. As long as there's that kind of subtle division, unity of purpose will not prevail. Mathabila emphasized that war veterans are not engaging in subversive activities by demanding accountability from the government. He said, Whatever we are doing is open. We invite all, including the security cluster, to attend our meetings because the agenda will be very clear. I trained for many years in security, and I know the definition of subversion. For someone who is not pleased, someone who feels threatened, he or she will deem challenges as subversive. I think that is a misnomer. We are not threatening the government of this country, even the ruling party, or any other political party in this country. All we are saying is that this country is not doing well economically, politically, and socially, and we want to be part of the solution. We have even come up with some solutions to collaborate with the government. We wrote many letters. I recall one to the President Emerson Umingagwa to say we would want to work with the government. We were not responded to. Muswar accused unnamed opposition politicians and CSOs of attempting to foment chaos in the country to solicit funds from foreign donors and revive their waning careers. He said, As the government, we are warning perpetrators of these serial choreographed theatrics who are involved in subversive activities aimed at undermining the rule of law that their days are numbered and that their lawless plans will never see the light of day.